Installing Neil Gorsuch on the Supreme Court is one of Donald Trump's few political victories, and now he is angrily lashing out at reporting that has exposed his childish tantrums during the nomination process. The Washington Post reports that Trump considered pulling back Gorsuch's nomination after the Thenomony criticized him for attacking the judiciary. After a federal judge ruled against Trump's Muslim ban, Trump threw a temper tantrum, referring to the Bush appointee as a so-called judge. He also called other judges who ruled against him biased and political. During meetings with various senators, Gorsuch reportedly said Trump's attacks were disheartening and demoralizing. Trump worried that Gorsuch would not be sufficiently loyal to him, a terrifying concern, given that judges are not supposed to be loyal to the presidents who appoint them. In a meeting with congressional Republican leaders, Trump complained, he's probably going to end up being a liberal like the rest of them. Responding to the Post's new report, Trump virtually stamped his feet and in his well-worn and predictable act described the story as fake news, and added, I never even wavered and am very proud of him and the job he is doing as a justice of the U.S. Supreme Court. Trump also baselessly claimed that the Post's sources do not exist. The Post's story is based on interviews with 11 people familiar with the episode, and the paper has far more credibility and a track record for honesty than serial charlatan and fabulous Donald Trump. In a recent poll, in a question of who was more trustworthy, Trump or the Post, the Post easily won 5,237%. In fact, Trump lost to every news outlet that was polled. Trump's emotional reaction exposes how sensitive he is about America learning that even his triumphs are also wrapped up in his personal failings. The only reason Trump was able to install Gorsuch was because Senate Republicans denied President Barack Obama's nominee, Merrick Garland, even a single hearing. Gorsuch was foisted on Trump, and not a pick he came up with on his own. Senate Republicans would have approved the nominee no matter which Republican president had offered it, and the success barely has anything to do with Trump's improbable election. It is a sore spot for him, in a year of failure after failure, to have even this moment exposed as another bit of stumbling and fumbling. He cannot handle his shortcomings being reported on and exposed by organizations who are far more trusted than his, so he has another tantrum.